Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, I don't know about this whole comedy thing, to be honest. <laughs> Love you too. Um, I don't know you, but I've heard good things. Like, uh, I love this, um, like this career, but as much as I love making $80 a week, I should probably, like, <laughs> I've got a family that I need to support. So um, what I did was I actually joined a, a recruitment company, and I went in, and they sit you down, and you fill in a questionnaire, and judging from your answers, it tells you what job you're better suited for. And underneath special skills, I put down arrogant piece of shit, <laughs> and not good at much, and apparently, I should be a real estate agent, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, um, any questions so far? <laughs> I've got a mate, uh, he's a, he calls himself an, an entrepreneur, but no one knows what he does. Like, he just gets arrested once a year. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the other day we were out and, and uh, we met some people and somebody asked them, they go, oh, uh, Jamie, oh no, I mean, not Jamie. It's not Jamie. Uh, Kevin. <laughs> K-Dog. Uh, hey, K-Dog, what are you up to these days? And, and he goes, I've got my fingers in a lot of pies at the moment. And like, like I've never understood how that saying is meant to mean something positive. <laughs> okay, have you ever walked into a room and seen a guy just fingering a whole lot of pies. <laughs> oh, not up there. Not up there. <laughs> and, uh, and thought to yourself, <laughs> well, that guy's doing pretty well for himself. Jesus Christ. Must be an entrepreneur. <laughs> so I'm back on the dating scene and uh, the new pickup line that people use is, uh, do you want to Netflix and chill? Or as they say in Palmerston North, um, do you want a United Video and Root? <laughs> Any couples here have a, have a joint Facebook account? Like, you won't admit it, it's just, like, I think any couple who has a joint Facebook account should rename their profile to, he was messaging other girls so he's not allowed his own one anymore. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I reckon, um, I reckon as a man, I could go up to anyone in the world and tell them that I'm one of the four guys in Maroon 5 who isn't Adam Levine and there's no reason why they shouldn't believe me. <laughs> so I'm, I, I have, I have a crippling anxiety. Uh, I don't know why I do this for a living. It's literally the worst thing I could ever do for my mental health. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one of my friends asked me the other day, he goes, uh, describe anxiety for me, Corey. So th this is the way I'll describe it. So um, ima imagine it's three o'clock in the morning, you're fast asleep. Uh, anxiety comes into your room drunk, knocking shit over, breaking windows, and then he punches you in the face to wake you up. Anxiety's a dude, apparently, in the story. And uh, so he punches you awake, then you wake up and you're like, oh, what are you doing, man? Then anxiety goes, oh, sorry, did I wake you up? And then you go, yeah, you literally punched me awake. Then anxiety goes, oh, fuck, don't mind me. Um, I've just got this 50,000 page book. Uh, it's got a list of all the stuff you've done wrong in your life. Um, <laughs> Do you just want to go through it, double check, and make sure it's all there? <laughs> and then you're like, mate, I've got work at seven in the morning, can I just wait till then? And he's like, oh, fuck, sorry, my bad. I'm sorry, I've had a big night. Uh, so you think you're gonna get back to bed, you're gonna drift away, you start going back to sleep, but then anxiety pulls out a massive packet of chips, starts crunching away, getting crumbs all over you as you're trying to sleep. Then just as you're nodding off, just as, you, as you're drifting away into your awesome sleep, anxiety taps you on the shoulder and goes, hey, Corey, whatever happened to Nelly Furtado? <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, like, what the fuck did happen to Nelly Furtado? Like, <laughs> 
So the next thing you know, it's 7 a.m., you're both on Google, and uh, her last show was in Switzerland in 2016, hasn't done anything since. Uh, then you're like, fuck, I'm gonna be late for work, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call him sick. Then anxiety's like, oh cool, we can hang out. So, hey, uh, Merry Christmas and have a good night, thank you very much.